Hey everyone, welcome to my new YouTube channel. It's called The Missionary Approach. Today I wanted to talk about inspired questions. As a missionary, it's so important to ask inspired questions. But what is an inspired question? Or what makes a question inspired? That's a good question! On my mission, I found that it was so important to ask inspired questions because it makes the person you're talking to think about what they really believe. And additionally, it helps you get to know them and their needs. One day in one of my areas, me and my companion were trapped in and we knock on this guy's door and he opens it and he's eating his dinner and he's like kind of like, oh, what are these missionaries doing here? And so we're just talking to him and we ask him why he likes going to his church because everyone in the South has a church home. <laughs> but he's like, oh, the social life is great. I love my community and all the people that I go to church with. And as he's talking and talking about that, I feel the spirit put a question into my mind. And so I ask him like, have you ever prayed and asked God if the church you're attending is the one he wants you to attend? And he just kind of like looked taken aback for a minute. And then he was like, no, I haven't. And then like quickly after that, he was like, well, I gotta finish my dinner, bye. And he kind of just escaped out of there. But I bet that was something that really made him think and ponder. And I don't know where he is now or what happened to him, but inspired questions truly get people to think. And they truly get them to ponder what they believe and what they know. Right now I get to work at the MTC and I get to see missionaries all the time and they often don't know how to discern the needs of the people they're teaching because they're new, right? They're learning. But one way as you enter the MTC and you're going to teach people there, ask them questions that will make them think. And so I have a list of examples that I want to share with you. And what's important is that these questions don't work in every circumstance. Just like my question wouldn't work in any other circumstance. It has to be directed by the spirit. And so it's important to live your life in a way that you can recognize the spirit speaking to you. You might consider asking someone, what gives you hope in your trials? How do you find comfort throughout the day? How have you come to know that the Bible is the word of God? How does God know that you love him? If you continue living your life the way you are right now, will you be prepared to meet God? What does Jesus Christ expect of you? Why does God allow evil and suffering to occur? How do you know what truth is? What is the purpose of life? What does Jesus Christ expect of you? If God revealed more scripture, would you want to read it? Or if God called a prophet on the earth today, would you want to hear what he has to say? I know that as you ask questions that make people dig deep in their soul, and as it makes them reflect over their thoughts, that they will open up to you. They'll be able to share concerns with you. They'll, their answers will clue you in on their needs as they share with you what their hopes are, as they share with you about how God speaks to them or a time they felt him strengthen them. You'll get to know them and you'll be able to be inspired with doctrines to teach them and apply to their life. And that is what is so important. That's what converts people when they know how the gospel principles and doctrines will help them in their life, will help them personally. So. Y'all just keep practicing those inspired questions and pray and ask a heaven sent question and you're gonna do fabulous. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with someone that could benefit, someone that's preparing for a mission. And tune in next week when we have a guest speaker come on.